Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at calculating the derivative of an inverse function. So we have let f of x equal 2x to the third plus 3x squared plus 7x plus 4 and we want to find the derivative of f inverse at 4. So for this example we want to make use of the equation the derivative of f inverse at x equals 1 over f prime at f inverse of x. Now that equation can be confusing at first glance, so we just have to think about what components we need to find. The first thing we should find is f prime of x, or the derivative of f. So we're starting with f of x, so f prime of x is equal to, we have 3 times 2 is 6, x to the 3 minus 1 is 2, plus 2 times 3 is 6, x to the 2 minus 1 is x to the first and then we have plus 1 times 7 is 7 x to the 1 minus 1 is 0 so we have plus 7 on the end and the derivative of 4 with respect to x is 0 because it's a constant term. All we did was use the power rule here so we have f prime of x equals 6x squared plus 6x plus 7 so the first thing we need to show is that f is differentiable which because it's a polynomial we can find its derivative and also, we need to show that f is a one-to-one -one function. And the way we could do that is just showing that f prime of x is always greater than zero. Because if you note, I'm not going to graph it, but 6x squared plus 6x plus 7 is always greater than zero. It's always above the x-axis. And if the derivative is always greater than zero, that tells you that the function is always increasing. So if the function is always increasing, that means that it'll past the horizontal line test. Therefore, it is one-to-one. -one. So I'm not going to dive too heavily into the theory, but we just need to show that it's one-to-one -one and differentiable, the function, in order to use this equation. So now that we know this, we're just going to move forward and find the derivative of the inverse at four. So this tells us, if we use this equation, the derivative of the inverse at four is equal to 1 over f prime at f inverse of 4. So we already found the derivative. We found f prime of x, but now we need to find f inverse at 4. So this is what we want to find. So we're finding f inverse at 4. And one way we could do this is we need to generate a 4 using our original function. So one thing you could notice is that the trailing piece, the constant term at the end, is 4. So if we plug in 0 into f of x, we're going to generate a 4. So this tells us if we look at f of 0, f of 0 is equal to, and we'll just write it out, 2 times 0 to the third plus 3 times 0 squared plus 7 times 0 plus 4. So f of 0 is equal to 4. But now we need to understand the concept of an inverse function. If f of 0 is equal to 4, I'll write this over here, f of 0 equals 4, then if we take f inverse of both sides, so we're taking f inverse of both sides, notice that f inverse of f of 0 is simply 0, because if we send a function into the inverse function, it simply gives us our original input value. So we have 0 equals f inverse of 4. So at this part here, we're trying to find f inverse at 4. This is simply equal to 0. So now we have enough information to go ahead and solve this problem. We're calculating the derivative of the inverse at 4. This is equal to 1 over f prime evaluated at, and now we can replace f inverse of 4 with 0. So now all we need to calculate is f prime at 0. So we'll write that over here in this section. And we have f prime of 0 equals, and we have 6 times 0 squared plus 6 times 0, plus 7. 
So f prime of 0 is equal to 7. So now for the last piece, we can replace f prime of 0 with 7. And this tells us our final answer. The derivative of the inverse evaluated at 4 is equal to 1 over 7. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on calculating the derivative of an inverse function. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.